the focus of my topic during last ESMO sarcoma and GIST conference was about how to approach the surgical margins across different soft tissue sarcoma subtypes. This is very important because still surgery remains the main treatment modality for all STS. And as the recommended strategy, it's a plant surgery with microscopically negative margins. Plant, it means that first we should obtain the diagnosis and individualize the treatment according to different, uh, different issues. One is soft tissue sarcoma uh, subtype, pathological subtype. Another is localization, performance status of the patient. But generally, this is why we need MDT before starting any therapy. We also know nowadays that neadjuvant and or adjuvant chemo or and radiation therapy are often used to improve the treatment outcomes and quality of surgical surgery margins. This is very important because in high risk, especially infiltrative types of soft tissue sarcomas, when we use the preoperative, so I mean near adjuvant therapy, usually we can improve the quality of uh, surgical margins, especially in the situation when we are near the critical structures, I mean the periosteum, uh, perineurium, and, uh, and uh, vessels. Uh, generally, the extent of surgery, as I mentioned, is related to soft tissue sarcoma pathological types, uh, anatomical lo location, and, and, and patient performance status. This is very important because in some subtypes, we can use a very limited margins, for example, for atypical lipomatous tumors located on the extremities. Uh, it, I mean, uh, well-differentiated liposarcoma. This is different name for this soft tissue sarcoma subtypes. And in this situation, we can remove the tumor without any specific a specific margin only outside of the pseudo capsule. But of course, it means that we, oh, again, we have to know the, uh, this type of the sarcoma before the surgery. Completely different situation is for infiltrative types of sarcomas like mixofibrosarcoma or pleomorphic sarcomas, when usually uh, we have to obtain the large and margins. In, during my talk, uh, of course, it is available on the ASMO web page now. Uh, I also mentioned how to measure, definitely measure the margins in collaboration with pathologists, and also what are the current criteria for assessment of the margins in soft tissue sarcomas. Moreover, in some soft tissue sarcoma, sometimes the implementation of plastic, vascular, and nerve constructions allowed for further increase in conservative procedures with better functional and cosmetic outcomes. So generally, uh, to summarize the extremity and tranquil part, uh, all cases should be discussed in MDT, and uh, the treatment should be individualized, including deep knowledge on specific histotypes, behaviors, particularly infiltrative ones. The uh, next part of my talk was um, focused on GIST. In GIST, uh, we have very well oriented the pathological material uh, after uh, the surgical uh, Remove because from the serosa part, sometimes we have only one layer of cells because submucosal tumors are growing as it as gist in submucosal level, and the margins from the bowel or stomach uh, is, is, uh, intrinsic part. It's not important because it's uh, from the uh, alimentary tract. The most important part are the margins in the uh, in the in the bowel or in the stomach, uh, and the margin should be about one to two centimeters of untouched tissue. And also, we need 
to keep this very fragile tumor not perforated because the tumor perforation, tumor rupture, is one of the major features related to the uh, poor outcomes of this therapy, which can be a little bit minimized by use of adjuvant or neadjuvant imatinib in GIST. And the last part of my uh, talk uh, was uh, uh, focused on retroperitoneal sarcoma, because in retroperitoneal sarcomas, uh, we know that surgery again is the only potential curative treatment. However, we have a very difficult anatomical constraints related to the uh, anatomical uh, location of retroperitoneal sarcomas, and the resection can be marginal by definition. And it's especially true that histological subtype determines the most appropriate surgical approach as treatment is personalized due to different behavior of different soft tissue sarcoma types in retroperitoneal space. And we know now when the front line extended approach has been shown to be safe and effective with decreased local recurrences and improved overall survival and local relapse rate survival particularly for well-differentiated liposarcomas and grade two the, the differentiated liposarcomas. As in these subtypes, the local control is the driver of the outcome due to multifocality, histological organ involvement, and very bad precise borders, frontal extended resection, so multivisceral resection is recommended for liposarcomas. This is in contrast to uh, liomyosarcomas, where distant metastasis drive the oncological outcomes, and aggressive surgical approach has less impact, and usually uh, we remove the tumor. Sometimes we have to perform, especially for li liomyosarcomas, major vascular reconstruction, because the liomyosarcomas in retroperitoneal space often originate from these uh, organs. And, uh, the same is also for malignant peripheral nerve sheet tumor and SFT, when usually we prefer less advanced, uh, advanced uh, surgery. So uh, generally, uh, we also have to take into account the morbidity associated with resection, as it requires resection of nerves, for example, for MPNST, and often functional uh, impairment. So to conclude, we have to think when we consider the surgical margins and surgery of soft tissue sarcomas, perform the biopsy first, so establish the diagnosis. Thereafter, uh, discuss the case in individualized, individualized matter in MDT, and finally, the treat the patient in experience reference sarcoma center. Thank you very much for your attention.